Today, it's all about that top five. Nerd Soul. Late ill kid at one young so holding it down, bringing that street geek and nerd soul. What is up, my people? Today, oh uh, yeah, we about to get into another wonderful episode of dropping jewels. And during the week, usually some stuff happens, we don't get a chance to pick it up, and we run it here. But today, man, we are gonna have a little bit of fun. Someone messaged me. I'm gonna keep that name confidential, but. We were talking about animated series. We got on the, I guess, subject of DBZ Kai. And I was asked, what would I like to see translated or, you know, cleaned up and transferred for high definition 4K, you know, beautiful viewing pleasure. So here's my list of top five animated shows that should be in HD. Number five is Batman, the animated series. Uh, I'm an 80s baby. I came up watching Batman the Animated Series. It was great. The storytelling was on point. The villains were great. Uh, the way they kind of like interconnected his life issues with his Batman issues was always real cool. The, the you know, the incorporation of like Robin and the, you know, like Batgirl and stuff like that. It was just a great show. We have standouts like Clayface. Of course, Harley Quinn came into the game. Uh, Joker was always good. The, um... The guy, the time guy, I can't remember, but he was dope. Like there were so many great villains in there and so many villains that created real world problems for Bruce Wayne that that show was just amazing. And I would really love to see it all redone for glorious high definition. So uh, number four is the original G.I. Joe series. Um, once again, 80s baby, love G.I. Joe, just like, Roblox, Duke, all those guys, Quick Kick, uh, just, <laughs> they all had like very specific names for what they did, almost like the Smurfs, but they were, they were such a great part of my childhood. I really loved all the, you know, the lessons you learn, <laughs> and it was really cool, man, to see these fights go down, and you know, no one ever got shot, but I remember there used to be like, scenes where there were just lasers everywhere and everybody was okay, man. Everybody always had a parachute. You know, people kept safety first. But uh, G.I. Joe, I think could be great if they went back, you know, scraped off the film, you know, recolored all that good stuff, every single frame for that beautiful, tasty 4K vision. So that's my number four, G.I. Joe, man, because hey, no one is half the battle. Number three is an animated series that so many people sleep on. But one of my favorites uh, is, I think it's probably my top of the shows that ended too soon, but this one goes to Exo Squad. Uh, Exo Squad was just incredible. It was way ahead of its time. It dealt with slavery, classism, racism, just it was, and it dealt with war in a very real way, but actually telling these stories to children and if you go back and watch exo squad now you'll be like man this is this is some solid craftsmanship um exo squad was on hulu for a while i don't know if it still is but you should definitely pick it up and check it out exo squad has some amazing writing and it was just one of those things that really broke out and just changed my perspective on what animated series were and um how engaging and you know mature it could be so exo squad that's definitely another joint i love to see just beautified so before we get to the last two i gotta remind you guys you can find me on black hollywood live that's right the first online network for african americans super dope you can check out blackhollywoodlive.com where you can check out celebrity interviews after shows sports talk geek nerd tech all that and you can come back here check out youtube.com slash black hollywood live so moving on to number two is that Generation One Transformers. Uh, once again, 80s baby loved Transformers. And just like G.I. Joe, if I can't get the whole series in HD, I'll take the first seasons. Just the first seasons, I'll take those. Um, you know, Transformers was just, it was just dope, man. It was just so fun. I know those series were made to sell toys, but they were really 
fun optimus prime you know what i'm saying bumblebee you know rc stuff like that there were just so so many great parts of that show that just made it just made it fun you know megatron was you know and starscream and their back and forth i just really loved that show man it was just so fun as a kid and looking back now i'm like man i really wish they had it in hd now if you're looking around they did drop the movie the of course transformers the movie not the michael bay joint but the animated joint they did drop that for blu-ray last year i believe or maybe a year before but i think it was last year but i would love to see the series redone in hd man give us some of that 4k goodness man come, come on i need some of that but what we've all been waiting for, what I've been asked for, my number one animated series that I would love to see transferred into full high def 4K beautiness. Um, it's a show that a lot of people might not think is that old, but it kind of is, which is Cowboy Bebop. And this is probably one of my favorite animes of all time. Um, if not the, it's probably top three or something like that. But the first episode I saw was actually episode 18 on like Adult Swim or something. So I had to go back and watch it from the beginning. But man, talk about a ragtag team that comes together and ends up kind of like navigating through life and learning themselves and learning each other while offsetting that with great locations, amazing fight scenes, cool villains, you know, great backstory. There is just so much to love about Cowboy Bebop. A great cross between like sci-fi, um, action, western, uh, kind of like ragtag team group thing. There's, there's a lot to love and all of their characters were built well. Like Jet had his story, uh, Spike had his story, Faye had her story, uh, Ed had her story. Like there was so much about these characters, even Ayn had his story. So there was so many, so much about these characters that was just fully fleshed out. These were real characters. These were real people in that world dealing with running from the law and then sometimes working for the law and sometimes running from villains and sometimes chasing villains. There, there, there's just so much. So for me to you, those are my top five that I would love to see translated into that beautiful, pretty 4K. Uh, we got number five, Batman the Animated Series, number four, Four, we got G.I. Joe. Then number three, we have Exo Squad, super dope. Number two, that's right, that Transformers G1. And my number one, like I just said, is Cowboy Bebop. So guys, holla at me, I'm gonna holla at you. Go down in the comments, let me know what your top five animated series that you want in that beautiful, awesome, high definition. What would you love to watch recreate it so you can watch it on your OLED display. You know what I'm saying? Let me know, and before I bounce, so you can get on to your beautiful Friday, is thatnerdsoul.com. That's right, check me out right there. All my videos from the oldest, newest, latest, greatest, and all that is right there for your consumption. Then head up shop.thatnerdsoul.com and pick yourself up a t-shirt player, and don't forget to get one uh, for them play apps. Then come back here, like, comment, subscribe, and share that nerd soul. That's right, there's no better way that I can show people that you like what you are watching. And please let me give a shout out to LA, what up? VA, what up? RVA, you got my heart. And be good to yourselves. Be good to each other. And look, if you haven't checked it out, treat yourself and check out Pirates of Dark Water. That's a good one too. It's a nice little nugget. We're gonna take that one with you. Peace.